I grew up in what I considered a, a very normal community, St. Cloud, Minnesota. I had two wonderful parents, uh, three brothers and a sister, and pretty much did what I considered normal things. You know, we went to school, went to church on Sunday, we did picnics, played ball in the yard. I blinked my eyes a lot, real fast. Uh, I made some like sniffling and grunting type noises, almost like I had a cold, you know, and that was considered okay up in Minnesota. You get colds in the winter. Um, so, but that's what I did. So these were called ticks. Sports was my outlet for a lot of my problems. I was accepted there. You know, of course, I felt very comfortable there. But being there, I still had all the, the problems of having my ticks. But that was okay. My friends were okay with that, and I was okay with that. I was in my, you know, competitive mode, and I liked to play. And as soon as the games were over, sometimes the kids would want to do something else, like go to the movies. As soon as we got into a quieter, more social setting, outside of sports, then I became a little bit self-conscious and didn't want to be there. One of the biggest supports that I could have was my parents and my family. Even though I was different than my brothers and my sister, I wasn't treated as someone different. It was very comforting to not be treated like someone different.